All right, welcome to Southern Genius. Today, we're gonna see how easy it is to break into a lock with the 22 short, uh, 243 Winchester, and a little bit of Tannerite. All right, first we're gonna use this 100-year-old gun got from my grandpa's dad. It's gonna, we're gonna shoot these little bitty 22 shorts. Won't we'll make much sound. That way, you know, if you're break, if you're actually breaking into a lock, they won't know you're there. All right, we're gonna start off with the 22 short open sights, little bitty bullet. All right, well, I hit it but it didn't do very much. That was just 22 short. Kinda expected it wouldn't, but, oh man, I hit it. I hit it dead center. Well, pretty much dead center, and it didn't do anything. Barely chipped it at all. Might have to, oh, but it broke this out. It just bent it a little bit. I think it'd still work. Here, I'll, I'll find out if it'll still work. Zero. Hard turn, 13, 35. Ha! Still opens and closed. Opens and closes, even though it got hit right in the center with 22 short. That's not gonna work. We'll try it again, something a little bit bigger. All right, next up, we're gonna try a full clip of Full Metal Jacket 22 Remington Golden Bullets out of my Smith & Wesson 22A. Knocked it off. All right, well that one went in right there. Broke the whole face off. Uh, came out the back, bulged the back metal out. But, now it's jammed, of course. But I can't get in it. So I gotta keep shooting it until I can get inside there. Oh man, stuff's falling out. Doing damage, but haven't opened it up yet. Well, I know what the inside of a lock looks like now. I broke the whole back open, but it's still locked. Oh, I got it. There you go. So it takes, I think I only hit it twice. I missed it that one time. So it takes two shots from a 22, or maybe one really good shot to open up a lock. We're gonna move up to the 243 now, see how many tries that takes. I'm gonna guess one try. Next we're gonna go with this versus this at 50 yards. I hit it all three times. The first time, the shot was low, I could see it in my scope, so I uh, shot it again, and it blew over to the side, but it looked like the mechanism was still locked. And then the third time, it just exploded, so I'm pretty sure it's busted up after three shots. Well, the 243 worked pretty good. You can see when I hit the bar, it broke right in half, so if you could hit this bar first try, I wasn't actually aiming for the bar, I just hit it on the inside of the lock. Uh, but if you could hit this, it'd break it off in one shot. It took me three to bust it apart completely. This is actually the only parts we could find of the lock. There wasn't much left on that after the second shot. And there's just little pieces laying around. Actually, I found it. Here it is. Uh, that was my first shot. That was my second shot. And the third shot I aimed up here, tried to break the lock. And you can see I hit right, I guess I did just hit the bar right here. Cause this is where it usually sits, right about there. And it broke off and that bar pushed into there, bent it back. So if you can hit the bar, it'll break it one try. But those two, first two were hit where there's not really anything at. All right, next up, we got a lock. 
versus a little bit of homemade tannerite. I'm gonna put it right on top of the lock, that way all the force goes straight into it and pushes it into the tree, that way nothing flies away. Hopefully, this will tape to it pretty well. I'll put some more tape on there, make sure it works. I'm predicting that this is gonna blow that lock into little bitty pieces and we probably won't be able to find very much of it. But our last try with this small of a mountain of tannerite didn't do very much, so who knows? We'll see. Well, the lock's definitely gone, but I don't know if it broke open or if it just flew off the tree. Let's go see. Well, that worked out perfectly. See, it looks pretty good. It just opened it up. It's just like putting the combination on there. All right, well, it's a little bit dinged up. There's a lot of random parts in there. Spring just fell out. But it just opened it straight up. The bar's still good. It just broke. It just crushed everything in there, I guess. And it was lying here just wide open. And the face looks alright. A little burnt. But that worked out really cool. Well, if you lock yourself out of your locker or something like that, I'm going to guess the best choice for me is going to be some tannerite. But, you know, I mean if you have some tannerite, go for that. But if not, you can just shoot it with, you know, whatever gun you got laying around. Anyway, thanks for watching Southern Genius. I'll see you next time.